here and my email address, and that's my office. So if anybody has any questions about this, wants to contact me, you can get in touch there, okay? Um, so I'll just go through the lesson plan and see what we're going to be doing today. First, we'll be talking about why accents are important, okay? So why are we learning this? Then we'll find out when do we use them, so when do we apply this important rule, and then we'll do a class exercise together, about four minutes, maybe slightly less, um, applying what we've just learned, and then uh, I'll talk you through the plans for next week's class. Okay, so why are accents important in Spanish? Um, to know how to pronounce a word, okay? So that's the main one. When we see a word written down, we need to know how to pronounce it. Okay, and also to differentiate word meaning. So sometimes words are spelled the same, but there's an accent that differentiates them. An example in, in English would be the word refuse, which means rubbish, and refuse, which means to decline. So although we don't have an accent written on it, the stress on the word differentiates the meaning of it. In, in, in Spanish, we have C with an accent on it means yes, and C without an accent on it means if. Now, um, does anyone here, have, does their native language use accents? Have you come across them before? Yeah, so it's something that is familiar to some of us. I know English native English speakers, we don't have written accents. So, um, so where do we use them? So they're always on a vowel in Spanish, okay? Always on a vowel. <coughs> and they always go from left to right, and they slant upwards in the direction of the writing. Um, now, where is the stress on a word? So, this is an interesting thing to note that you need to apply. So, syllables in Spanish are counted starting from the last one, from right to left. So, here, here we have teléfono. Okay, so no is syllable number one, fo is syllable number two, le is three, and de is four. Okay, so we're always going from, le from right to left. Okay? Um, so, we classify words there. We have different types of words. Okay, so if the stress is on syllable one, we call the words aguda. So here we have amor, balón, and francés. Okay? They're aguda. Aguda house. Okay? <laughs> if the stress is on syllable two, the penultimate syllable, they're called llana. Okay? So here we have profesora, francesa, fósil. Okay? And finally, if the stress is on syllable three, this is what we have time to cover today, it's called esdrújula. Okay? So we have marítimo, Exámenes and ejercicio. Oh, ejercito, perdón. Okay, ejercito. Okay, so they need a written accent if. This is the rule that you're going to apply. So if the word ends in a vowel, if you have an aguda word, if you look at your exercise here, okay, the aguda, I've classified them for you. They need an accent if the word ends in a vowel, for example, mama and llevo or if the word ends in an N or an S. For example, francés and habitación. So, um, if we can just do this together here. Uh, the first one, señor. Um, uh, Mohammed, do you think that needs an accent? Yeah. It does, and why? We have if the word ends in N or S, or if it ends in a vowel. So does it end, what, what does it end in, señor? Um. It ends in R. So it doesn't need an accent, yeah, it doesn't. okay? Because it doesn't yes. end in an yes. N or an S, yes. it doesn't end in a vowel, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll try another one, Irlandés, um, Lee, um, does it end in an N or an S? Yes. So do you think it needs an accent? Yes. yes. It does, okay. Sí. Okay, sí. sí, it does, very good, muy bien. Okay, and then we'll just do one more. Uh, see the fourth word, canción, um, someone down the back there, um, you, sorry, what's your name? Can, can you pronounce it for me? Toricul. Toricul, okay. So do you think canción needs an accent? What letter does it end in? N. N. Okay, so if the word ends in N or S, it needs a written accent, okay? So we'll move on. Before, a question. Yeah? If I want to say I'm hungry, I will I say it in Spanish. To say I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, it's tengo hambre. Okay, but if you can save those questions for the end, or maybe email me because we don't have time to cover them in this class. Okay. Okay. Um, so then we go on to the second category, janas. Okay. So this is if the word ends in a consonant different from N or S. So it's the opposite from the other rule we learned. And if the word ends in a vowel. It does not need an accent, okay? So the third word that we have here, 
Perro, okay, uh, Javier. <laughs> so it ends in an O, which is a vowel, okay? So does it need an accent? No. No, it does not need an accent, okay? And uh, I'll move on to the last one just for time reasons, okay? Um, so here we have esdrújulas. This is an easy one. Esdrújulas always need an accent, okay? So Ilgen, músico, would that need an accent? Yes. So hard. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So these ones are when the accent falls on the on syllable number three. Okay. So if it falls on syllable number three. So we have here la médica se llama Veronica, es química y vive en América. Okay. So it will always take an accent if it's on syllable number three. Okay. And um, so there's your exercise that you have printed out. And um, there are the solutions. Okay. Um, if anyone wants to take them down, yeah, the accents are in there. Sorry, it's a little bit small for you to see. Um, so then, in the next class, okay, we'll be talking about the plural forms of words. We'll be talking about monosyllables and also interrogative phrases. Um, and uh, here I have um, also, um, if you can take one and pass them on, that's preparation for next week, so that goes into a bit of detail about monosyllables, interrogative phrases, that you can have a look at yourself in preparation for the next class. And here are some useful links that you can look up yourself to do some more exercise and apply the rule that you've just learned. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nicola.